In this tutorial I'm going to explore an audio comping method which uses revolver tracks along with the Take Composer. Although I made an older tutorial showing how to use the Take Composer, some of these workflow functions have been updated in version 11 to make comping more comfortable. The Take Composer is ideal when you are recording multiple looped or cycled takes of the same part. Once these multiple takes have been recorded, you can open them up in the Take Composer and begin to comp them into a master take. Revolver tracks were introduced in version 11 of Samplitude Pro and Sequoia, so now you can create multiple compiled takes and recall them from the Revolver Track playlist. To begin with, I'm going to record four takes of bass guitar, which is rooted through the amazing Vandal virtual guitar and bass amplifier. I will then take you through the process of using revolver tracks in combination with the take composer. I have the bass track armed with a two bar range and loop mode enabled. So I've recorded four takes and each take is two bars in length. If I control right click on the object you can see a list of the four takes I just played. It's possible to switch between them by selecting a take from the list. I'm going to keep the current one selected and this will appear as the top take when I open the Take Composer. Before opening the Take Composer I'm going to create some Revolver Track copies. To do this left click on the Revolver Track icon and choose New Revolver Track Copy. You can now see that the Revolver Track icon has changed colour. This means that Revolver Tracks are now active for this track. This copy has now been added to the list below. I'm going to create two Revolver Track copies to begin with, so I'm going to select New Revolver Track Copy one more time. When I open the list again, you can see the top one, which is the original take. The two below are copies which I will be working on in the Take Composer. I'm going to choose the first copy to begin with. Notice the track name has now been amended to reflect the currently active Revolver Track, which is Base 01. I'll close Vandal to free up some space. It's important to make sure you have the object selected, which it is. Now I'm going to left click on the Revolver Track icon and choose Take Composer. So now we have a split screen. The top half is the original VIP and the bottom half is the Take Composer. The first track is where all the comping will be done and is a duplicate of the first take. Below that we have takes one to four. Below that we have some additional tracks which comprise of the original revolver track plus the two copies I just made. It's possible to hide those additional tracks by left clicking here and deselecting show revolver tracks. We are now left with the top comping track and the four takes below. The idea of comping is to compile the best bits of the various takes, thereby creating a new master take. I'm going to hit play so the track is cycling around the two bar section. You can then audition each take by pressing the solo button. Solo take one. This is a duplicate of the top track. Solo take two. Solo take three. Solo take four. And back to the copy of take one. You can set independent snap values for the VIP and the Take Composer windows depending on the window focus. By default, the Take Composer window will be the active window when opened. If I click on the VIP title bar to make the top window active, you will see the snap value for that window is set to 1 8 notes. You need to make the Take Composer window active before choosing the snap setting for that window. I'm choosing one quarter for this initial comp. 
you will now see that the top window is set to one eighth and the lower take composer window is set to one quarter. You can of course override snap settings by using the alt modifier or turn off snap altogether by clicking on the magnet icon. For this demonstration I'm leaving the top track soloed and using the following method. I'm going to choose cut mouse mode by left clicking here. You can also use the shortcut Alt plus C to switch to cut mouse mode. This mouse mode when used in the take composer works differently compared to a normal VIP. When using cut mouse mode in the take composer it's possible to drag select a section of audio. This selection will automatically be added to the top master track, thereby replacing the audio with that new selection. So I'm going to start comping. If I make a selection from take 4, this selection is now added to the top comp track. Next I'm left click dragging to make a selection from take 3 and that selection is added to the top master track. Now I'm drawing a selection over take 2 and that's added to the top track. I'm going to repeat the procedure for bar 2. So now we have a master compilation based on the selections made from the tracks below. You can use this method as a means of auditioning any selection. Wherever you draw a range it will be added to the top and you will automatically hear it in context. Selecting another range will replace the previous one. Notice that when I make a selection it shows a range of that selection in the Take Composer although the main overall range in the top window remains. It's this top range that determines your cycle playback loop. This is a key point. So if you want to work on say just one bar you need to draw a range in that top window first. Then continue making your selections in the Take Composer window. When you're happy with the comp left click on the small downward arrow and select Close Take Composer. Before it closes a dialog will appear asking if you want to apply changes from Take Composer to Original Project. If you're happy to do that click OK. Now that comp appears in the VIP as a new series of objects. Although we have the new edited objects, the original untouched track is still at the top of the revolver track list. I can always go back to that and start afresh. Although I recommend leaving the top one untouched and creating a copy when needed. I'm now going to switch to revolver track copy number 2. I can now start a fresh new comp using this copy. Make sure the object is selected and reopen the take composer. In this next example I'm going to set the snap value to 1 8th. Make sure the take composer window is active and then select 1 8th from the Q menu. Now I'm going to use the comp I just did and make a copy of that comp. I'm selecting new revolver track copy and the new copy has been added to the bottom of the list. Make sure all the objects are selected and open the take composer. This time I'm going to set the cue snap to 1 16th. I'm going to do some more comping using this snap setting.
So now we have three comped revolver tracks plus the top track, which is the unspoiled track. What I'm going to do now is create a new revolver track copy of the original take. That's been added to the bottom of the list as base 04. Make sure the object is selected. I'm going to open the take composer one more time. But now I'm going to enable show revolver tracks. You can now see the three previous comps added to the bottom of the list. So now I'm going to do a comp of the comps. We now have a total of four comped revolver tracks. I can audition them by using Alt, Page Up or Down. So as you can see, using revolver tracks in combination with the Take Composer is a powerful package.